Hello once again. Um, this morning I just want to take a quick look at the gardener sump. Um, not a lot to report really so uh, we will not be very long going through this one. Here we have the sump off and it really looks quite good. There's a bit of sludge here but it's it's nothing we'll soon clear that up now what i'd like to point out to you here is the use of silicon um, we're not very happy with this at all um, this is on the outside of the sump but if a bit of this on the inside of the sump happened to fall off which is not impossible at all and work its way down through the oilways in other words be sucked up by the pump here this is the um, the movable orifice that the pump from <clears throat> the injector pump goes down through I'll have told you about that before um, if that bit of silicon gets sucked up it can do all sorts of harm by getting lodged in some narrow oilway somewhere um, you'll understand that I had to undo all these bolts here to get the sump off really quite a job quite a boring job but it has to be done but as I said I'm really very optimistic about this ah what have we got here now ah a little grub screw um, somebody has dropped that grub screw somebody has dropped that grub screw down from the top of the engine it's one of the grub screws that fits in the uh the uh holders for the rocker shaft because I, I i know that so it has fallen down through the engine when somebody was building it or repairing it so that's a bit naughty although it's easy enough done a little bit more sludge here but it, it's nothing i'm now going to pop out that smaller gauze there and let you see down inside i'm really quite optimistic i don't think it'll be too bad at all i don't think this engine has done very much work at all so as i predicted down here is not too bad at all that's mostly oil you see there and very little sludge i'll drain that all out now and everything will be cleaned up and the sump will be put back on again as good as new now with the small gauze off notice that this orifice you'll remember uh, um, i noted that it's movable the reason for that is whenever we're lowering the engine down on here we need a little bit of movement here in order to get that pipe from the oil pump to go down in there interesting wee feature here we have the sump ready to go back on you'll see that i've given the mating surfaces a uh, coat of proper stag well seal now it's probably difficult for you to make out but down in there you probably can't make it out but the oil pump tube is about to go down into that orifice that i pointed out previously it's possible to do a lot of damage by lowering the engine down onto the sump you can easily damage that gauze down in there so this is my method uh, I can't say it's everybody's method but I use this ratchet strap to bring the sump up to the engine rather than the engine down to the sump I think it's just it's less dangerous and there's less chance of um, having a cock up so that's all I've got for you on uh, gardener sumps or in particular the 6LXB sump but yeah little bit is the same now um, I was perhaps a bit critical of silicon earlier in that video and um, I don't mean to be too critical about it. Silicon is a fantastic sealer, um, provided you don't use too much, only use very little, use it very sparingly. So A, you save money, and B, there's less chance of bits breaking off and getting into the engine as I described. Fine for water circuits, for water circuits they are super, super job. Um, on oil circuits, our <clears throat> in-house rule is we use well seal. This is the traditional uh, sealant that was developed, I think, jointly by Gardner and by Rolls-Royce. And the beauty of it is 
that it never goes hard it stays soft all the time and play, pliable and therefore it'll help mating surfaces come together and seal them quite nicely um, you may still get the odd leak um, compared to silicon um, but I think leaks in gardeners are well some people um, treat them as a feature rather than a fault because they <laughs> inhibit corrosion on the outside of the engines anyway we'll take that with a pinch of salt both sealants are fine if they're used properly so that's all I've got for you on the sum um, but I can't uh, leave this session without introducing you to um, some entertainment that I had while I was making this video. The sheds here are perhaps 200 years old and I'm quite confident the swallows have been coming here for that length of time. <clears throat> Despite my best efforts to discourage them and despite me providing them with a perfectly good toilet this is the kind of mess that they leave and you can see my efforts to try and deal with it. Ah well, we leave them in peace.